What's up guys? This episode we're covering Stripe Elements. Now like any screencast, things get outdated really quickly, so we are going to be diving into the new JavaScript library that Stripe put out called Elements. And if you click on their documentation link, we will be able to find that under Payments and Elements. And this is what we're looking for. So this is actually a whole new JavaScript library that creates a credit card form that does everything for you. It has the card uh, icon. So if we put in a Visa card here, it will show that, but it also automatically um, puts in our month, year, CVC, and optionally a uh, zip code. And if you're in a different country, it will have a different field for that as well. So it's actually very smart. And as you might have known in the previous episodes, we've had to implement some of those things ourselves using like jQuery.payment to make sure that you can only type numbers and things like that. So this solves a lot of problems. Plus, this is even a little bit more PCI compliant because this is an iframe that gets embedded on your page and then the JavaScript will give you the token back. Um, so the credit card number is only ever typed into the iframe that is Stripes and never your own website. So that's really cool. So this is going to be the JavaScript library that we're going to be using. If you want, you can go through and manually go through the conversion guide. So they have a migration guide that if you're using Stripe JS v2, you can go through all of these steps and convert your stuff over. Now, one thing that I want to point out before we get started is that version three, Stripe elements doesn't actually have all the same functionality the same way as version 2. So if you're using something like ProfitWell um, to add Dunning and update your card stuff to your website, you're going to still need to include Stripe version 2 on your website. So keep that in mind. So let's dive into actually implementing this code to handle the credit card forms.